two questions. The first question is, if you recite Surah Kausar ten times, every day you will... You go to Jannah. Only kidding. Yeah, sorry, you recited ten times. MashaAllah, very good question. If you recite Surah Kawsar ten times, SubhanAllah, everyone, you want to see the Prophet, you recite it ten times. You know, this is, uh, again, a, a made-up thing. There's nothing like that. It's, uh, uh, I, I think it came from uh, your Pakistani. Okay, I don't have to say anything else. <laughs> Only kidding. <laughs> so, the answer's there. The 10 times Surah Kawsar, 100 times Surah Kawsar, if the Iman's not there, Muhammad sallallahu is not going to come in the dream. Muhammad sallallahu will come in the dream to the people who are true believers, the ones who take this religion seriously. Those are the people that will see Muhammad sallallahu Now the other hadith that you're referring to, Muhammad sallallahu clearly said that whoever sees me in the dream, he has seen me because shaitan cannot take my form. Now what does that mean? Most of us don't even know how Muhammad sallallahu looks like. One of the man, one of the students came to me, oh, oh, Sheikh, uh, my student in the school, I saw Muhammad sallallahu and he had a long white beard. I said, you saw your grandfather, that was not Muhammad sallallahu He got upset. I said, don't you know the hadith of Ma'bad? Muhammad sallallahu does not have a white beard. So the one that you saw was your grandfather. So you need to know how Muhammad sallallahu looks like as well. So yes, Muhammad sallallahu will actually come in the dream and it is him. Shaitan will not take his form. But most of us don't even know how he looks like. And then the second question you ask, have you seen how we see the Prophet? MashaAllah, this is another thing which is sold, like hot cross buns. Most of us don't even know how some of the Prophets look like. So how do we know that was Isa, that was Musa? That's the question, that's the first question you need to ask yourself. How do we know if that's the Prophet? So, in quite uh, honesty, and the right answer is, we don't know about the other prophets. If they came, if Allah showed us, we don't know if it's right or wrong. But with Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa ten times Kawsal, is uh, actually, I'm, I'm sure it was a Pakistani. Why? Because he chose the smaller surah. Maybe if he said ten times Baqarah, I would have actually believed that. So, um, so basically, the point over here is, inshallah, if you've got the Iman, you know, one of the greatest scholars in Egypt, Muhammad, al, uh, uh, Muhammad Hassan, he's a really good scholar. He's the student of Sheikh Al-Bani, rahimahullah ta'ala. Hassan or Hassan, I think it's Hassan, Muhammad Hassan. Muhammad Hassan says, he says a story. He says, a man called me, he's alive, mashallah. May Allah make him half of Allah. So he said, a man called me, my mother is sick and she wants to talk to you. And Muhammad Hassan actually when he's got a very illuminating face. I'm just thinking about Muhammad Hassan. So if inshallah you type on Google, you'll find him. So he goes there, he sees this old lady and the old lady cries. He says, Sheikh, I'm very uh, sad. And he says, what happened? He says, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa comes to my dream every day. It's been one week he didn't come. And I've been making his istighfar. Have I done something wrong? Muhammad Hassan started crying. He said, I kissed her hand. Now you're saying, oh, opposite gender, kiss the hand. She was 80 years old. So he kissed the hand. And he said to her, Ya Ummi, tell me what do you do that you see Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? I am an alim. I have not seen him every day in my life. SubhanAllah, some people, they have some great actions in their life. And Muhammad comes every day to their life. We all, sitting over here, we've probably seen Muhammad We don't want to expose ourselves. You know what, I'll expose myself. 
I don't have dreams, to be honest. And I'll tell you what, I've been doing the work of da'wah. I've never seen Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa So, does that make me, so do I need to read Surah Kawsar 10 times? I'll try that today, inshallah. But it's not going to change it. The point over here is, Allah chooses His servants for this azima, for this great gift that Muhammad sallallahu comes as a dream. May Allah make us from the people, inshallah, that Allah shows us Muhammad sallallahu in our dream.